They say this woman is late. Onyeka Omenu. Very popular. Actress, musician, activist. Anything you can call her. She is all of them. No be say she died. No be waiting to pay me. On a no way to pay me. She died without experiencing a new Nigeria. And I go prove I'm to you now. She died at old age, 72. I want to play you a video that she did for BBC and the rest of them when she was 32, 40 years ago. On a go see the problems when she talk inside that video. Those are the problems we are facing today. It has not gone out. It has not been solved. So she died without witnessing a new Nigeria. And that is the fear of most of us. That we go die inside this country without experiencing a new Nigeria. And that is why we are protesting. Bad governors must go. Yes. Born in Nigeria. But she never enjoyed. She did not experience a new Nigeria. Make you help me watch this interview. Or this coverage which she do for BBC. 40 years ago when she was 32 years. Watch. The BBC and Nigerian television asked me to report as a Nigerian television journalist on the situation in my country. Recently, like many Nigerians, I've felt frustrated and saddened by what has happened to us. We've had our independence for more than 20 years. By third world standards, we have a well-educated elite. We had a productive farming economy. We have minerals. And we discovered a few years ago that we had oil, a lot of oil. Yet today we are importing food that we should be growing. We are a bankrupt nation and we have an international reputation for large-scale corruption. Many of our people are unhappy and some even hungry. What has gone wrong? This is what I set out to explore. We sense that change had to come to our nation, that our people wouldn't continue to accept the inefficient, corrupt civilian government of President Shadari. We were right. Before this film was completed, the coup took place. So our report, instead of being a prophecy, is now an explanation. An explanation as to why the majority of my people, most of whom know what democracy is about, and want it ultimately, welcomed yet another military takeover. I'm not a politician. I'm not an economist. The story I have to tell is a personal one about my hopes and fears for my country. Apart from journalism, I'm a singer. And I suppose this more than anything is my way of communicating my feelings. This one, we are rehearsing, is both a love song and a song about my country. You see him? What are the things that she talked about there? Corruption. Hmm? Is it still here? Yes, if at on a higher scale. Number two, they say we are broke. Since that they've been saying that this country is broke. Till today. Government is sitting us that we are broke. Number three, we have a Thailand. We cannot grow our food. Food that we should be growing here, we are importing them. Not helping the economy. These were the three things that she called out in that video. Are they still the problem of this country today? Oh, yes, yeah, so even worse. More things have even added to the problem. She died without witnessing a, a, a new Nigeria. Look at where she did, where she was wearable. Why wow, about wow, when she was young? Now when she do that coverage, all the things that she said in that are still the things keeping us where we are. Like I said, we know they make progress. We're just doing mark time, mark time, mark time. We know the move. And some people are saying we should not protest. Aragabuno, Aragabuno. We should not protest. Keeping everybody down for how many, how many, how many decades? Now, why now? She did not experience a new Nigeria. 
and that is the fear of all of us. Even me when they talk. Say I go die. I no go see witness this Nigeria. I go me. I go reach 1900. Die. I no go see see new Nigeria. These problems now we will talk about now. We will talk about the 50 years to come. 100. Ah ah. You know the tire owner. Can't we make this country work for once? And they want to protest. Some elements are somewhere shouting. No protest. No protest. Araga boon. How did Donya Kowelo die? How? How? Birthday party. Somebody's 80th birthday party. Now she go. She says she won't perform. She perform finish. And she perform. They say she goes to that for her seat. She slump. She die. Just like that. Just like that. When I want to see the performance, what she do? What she die? Her last performance for this life. What she do? What she die? I go plan for Ona. I'm going to watch. Be like who they die today and tomorrow. But that kept knocking and she answered. Oh, 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 she has died. She is gone. She is gone. She is gone. Without witnessing a new Nigeria. Did Nigeria fail her or not? Oh, yes, Nigeria failed her. Some of you will say Nigeria did not fail her. She was one time DG of this one. She got federal government appointment. Uh, she was rich. This, uh, and so what? Those were the things that her portfolio got for her. But in new Nigeria, where there is no insecurity, where there is food security, where everybody is living fine, where there is 24 hour power supply, where roads they tie them, where mosquitoes know they kill us anytime, they give us malaria, where everything is sorted of corruption, no. Where where the poverty level is not as high as 130 something million Nigerians living below the line of poverty. No. She did not express all this. She died. She didn't see a good night in New Nigeria. And she died. You know her. Her songs. Her movies. Her speeches all over the world. She made an impact. She was an advocate for New Nigeria. Can we get it right? Can we get it right? She was so good that Fela even wanted to marry her at some point because of her activism. But because, hey, Fela, you get plenty of wives. Fela, na I'm always weak. He say No, I cannot throw myself into such a marriage. In a way, now she's gone. She is gone. Oh, all I go. All I go. All I go. I don't know why good people are the ones dying. All these bad, bad people that we have, and I don't know that are making us up and down. I don't know why they are not dying. The ones that want to preserve, they want, want to see them live longer because of their legacies. Now, them, they die. The ones that have kept us in this position, they are still alive, healthy. They don't be like who they die today, tomorrow. Eh? All that go. Onyeka Onwenu, my sister from the East. You fought a good fight. You came. You saw. You conquered. Eh? You achieved as a human being. Yes, you did. And you lived long in a way, 72 years. Nobody everybody lived 72 years before dying. You lived a fulfilled life. But it's just that the country that you would have wanted to see do better failed you. And you are gone. Rest in peace. We shall meet on that glorious morning. Inshallah. I get it. Rest well. Rest well. I go see Una later. For over a decade, this has been the birthplace of innovation. Innocent Vehicles is a testament to resilience, employing international best practices to create more than just a car. 
Every vehicle here tells a story of durability, fuel economy and safety. Crafted with the African spirit, the Nigerian heart. These vehicles surrounding me embody the unique concept of regionalization, each one designed to cater to the tastes and preferences of our people. From the streets in Nigeria to the terrains of the Sahara, these vehicles are designed for our roads, for our people. This is more than a vehicle. It's a symbol of our progress, our resilience, our collective success story. Your feedback drives us to continuously innovate and improve. Innocent Vehicle, the pride of African roads.